Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you an overview of MAC in Extra Dimension collection for spring 2013. So some of you may remember the first wave of this new formula with the previous in Extra Dimension collection. So now MAC has released six new of the Extra Dimension formula eyeshadows and then also come up with the Extra Dimension formula blushes which is available in this collection in five different shades. This collection also includes three of the Extra Dimension skin finishes, which I won't be able to show you in this video because they weren't available at the time that all these other items were available. But if you want to get an idea of what the finish and formula will be like, you can refer back to the first in Extra Dimension collection video and the reviews for those skin finishes on AllureBeauty.com. This collection will be available in stores on April 11th and then it will be available by the time this video goes up online at maccosmetics.com. As always, you can go to Allure Beauty if you want to see photographs, swatches, and a full written review of each of these items. And of course, if you have any questions after reading those reviews and watching this video, you can leave them in the comment section below or on the blog itself, and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Also, if you ever want to see little sneak peeks into upcoming MAC collections before they're released, I always have a running list of them in the video description below. So for example, right now there are sneak peeks into Mac's upcoming Art of the Eye collection, Baking Beauties collection, and Lovely collection along with some others. So if you're ever interested in getting a little preview of those collections, you can always look in the description box and there should be links there for those. All right, let's get on to swatches. Here are the six new Extra Dimension eyeshadow colors and these retail for $21 each. These are all new limited edition colors. Here is Extra Silver, Opalesce, Zestful, Triple Impact, Dimensional Blue, and Smoky Mauve. Extra Silver is a true silver shade. As you can see, it is a translucent color. It's very highly frosty finish. Here's the shade applied with a damp brush, so a stronger silver color, but it's still translucent in finish. You can certainly build it up if you want. Here's opalesce, which is an opalescent white with a pink pearl finish. Again, the color's pretty weak. You do get this duochrome finish, but it's hard to detect on the skin. Here's a second layer added, which definitely helps the color be much more prominent on the skin. So you actually get a really beautiful and strong sheen on the skin with a second layer. And here's Opalesce applied with a damp brush. Here's the first layer. And here is a second layer. Much more patchy and even you get physical bumps on the skin. I think I actually prefer this color applied dry. It's a much smoother finish applied dry. Zestful is a pale iridescent lime color. There's one layer and there's another. Here's Zestful applied with a damp brush. Can you probably have to use smaller strokes just to avoid this bumpy application. There's one layer and a second. Not much of a difference here. Triple Impact is an opalescent lavender with violet pearl. Again, very weak color payoff and showing on the skin. There's one layer and here's two. Here's the shade applied with a damp brush. It's one layer and two. Dimensional blue is a pale frosty blue color. There's one layer. And here's the color applied with a damp brush. This shade performs much better both applied dry and foiled. And Smoky Mauve, 
which barely transfers onto the skin, is supposed to be a mid-tone cool mauve. Here is a second layer of the color. Much better finish this time. And the shade applied with a damp brush. Weaker showing of color when you apply it with a damp brush. Here's a second layer. Definitely a better finish applied dry with this shade. And here we have the five new blushes from this collection. These retail for $25 each. Here is Bareness, Blazing Oat, spelled H-A-U-T-E, Flaming Chic, At Dusk, and Fiery Impact. Starting with Bareness and an angled brush. This is one layer. which you probably can't even see on the skin. Here is two layers. Probably be able to see it now on my NC20 skin. This is a rosy beige color. It's very light. And here's the color with three layers. It's definitely prominent, but it does require layering. So this was probably suited for fair skin. I would say NC15 and lighter. Here's Blazing Oat, which is a dirty peach. Again, you probably won't be able to see the first layer of this color. Here it is with two. So that peach tone is showing up much better in comparison now. And here it is with three layers. So again, something probably suited for lighter skin tone and you'll definitely need couple of layers if you're NC20 or any darker. Here's one layer of Flaming Chic. It's a very bright pink shade in the pan, but again it just doesn't show up with a single layer on the skin. And this is me picking up or swiping the brush over the pan a good number of times. Okay, layer two. And I'm putting extra pressure trying to make the bristles in this brush more dense so that the color will show up. There's two layers and here's three. So despite this being one of the brightest shades in this lineup, I feel like so far it's been the weakest in translation of the color to the skin. Here is At Dusk, which is a mid-tone, I would say pretty pale nude rose color. Here is layer two. And here's with three layers. Fiery Impact is a burnt red bronze. This is the only color in the bunch that actually shows up on the first layer, and it is the darkest of the five colors. Here's two layers. And here's three. Alright, so there you have Max Spring 2013 in Extra Dimension Collection. Objectively speaking, I'll have to say that I think this collection is pretty disappointing. Personally, I like the translucent and more sheer nature of the colors for the eyeshadows. I don't mind that they don't show up very well unless you layer them or that they're translucent because for my own personal purposes, that is better suited for more subtle types of looks that I can wear every day, and it may very well be that MAC intended for these sets of colors to be more sheer, and in MAC's collection description they do talk about the colors being sheer, but they also talk about the formula giving you the option of creating highly metallic and more bold finishes. So I think only half of those claims are true because we didn't really see the colors becoming that much more bold when layered or when applied with a damp brush. 
So I do think that MAC fell short in terms of the colors this time around, at least when you look at the claims that they make for the colors in this collection. The blushes I also was expecting to be much more keen on, but I really don't like the formula. It doesn't transfer well onto the skin. You have to absolutely layer them in order to get the color to show up. And the only color out of all the five that showed up with just one layer was Fiery Impact, which is that deep brick red type color. Now, I will say that I think the finishes on these blushes are really beautiful. It gives you this subtle sheen that does luminize the skin, but doesn't look like you have any sort of sparkles or glitters on the skin. So the surface of the blush does impart something that is sort of hard to find in a powder formula type cheek color but you have to work extra and definitely apply extra product onto the skin and really buff it in and layer the color in order to achieve that finish. So it's certainly not a formula that is easy to work with or is effortless in any sort of way. So that's kind of the give and take. All right, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at this collection with me and I will see you next time.